Hey, what's up, everyone? How are you all doing today? Welcome to episode 36 of our Let's Play series of Adeptus Mechanicus with a Heretic DLC. We've recently got ourselves our final tech priest. Uh, I think his name's Ortisius. So let's go get some more upgrades. Yeah, Ortisius. Uh, so what do we need on the armor? It's just the arms. Okay. Adds one physical damage. One HP and 20 crit chance, that's pretty cool. Uh, another bit over here, what's that give us? Add three HP. That's quite a bit. And what are these ones? Add one HP. Now let's go with these ones. Yeah, the free extra HP on the go. That'd be quite cool. 21. What a beast. Okay, let's get some more. So the next one's going to be 321. So we might get two more upgrades here. Uh, let's have a little look. A servo skull deals the damage. We don't want that one. So all troops in range. I think we might go down this tree with this guy and make him another bruiser. So let's just grab one of these. We'll get those gauntlets just in case we want to switch out some later on. Can we get another one? We can get one more. We can get one more for you. Okay, so we've got two augment slots to play with, which doesn't give us much. Um... Should we just go for this cognition stick? And in fact, let's be a little bit more tactical. Let's get that cognition stick. And have we got a little um, curatio? Um, that one gives just a little bit of healing. Not that we're really going to need it. We're, I think this is our most sort of. Um, this guy's got the most HP out of all our units now. It's quite ironic, it's in his, the newest of the fold, but there we go. So only got 79 left, so we best earn ourselves a nice pile today. Right. So only got two left here now. Just that one for him, and that one here. Let's just start going from the top, I think. We'll start going through them all. I think the current plan for this series is um, I'm going to try and make this last until the release of the new Necromunder Underhive Walls. We'll get our battle servers around here. Because um, I really want to play that. That looks real good fun. It's another strategy game. It's a game based in the Warhammer universe, which is pretty cool. I like a bit of that. Uh, so I don't know if we've got enough missions here to last that long. So I think Underhive is out on the 6th or 7th of September. So we'll have to see. But that, that's the plan. Let's have a little look. Diamond here, kind of optional. The other diamond over here. So yeah, just two. God, what's going to be? It's going to be quite a long, drawn-out room. This one. There's not a clear path to anywhere. Yeah, it's going to be a right bugger. So one, two, three, four to get to that one. Get straight to that one, but then it's going to be the quickest way back. There, maybe. We might have to go through the um the optional one to get our awakening level back down a bit. We'll have to see. Let's get straight into this first room. Let's see what it's got for us. Look at this cohort deployment there. I love it. Go 
cannot destroy him. How many are over there? Just one? Two. Got lots of flayed ones. An immortal. Oh, and sneaky destroyer over here. Hopefully he won't last long. Alright, in fact, we're gonna keep him. Keep these couple behind that pillar there just in case the destroyer gets an early turn. Obviously we've got no cognition yet, first room. So just on set priests. Here. In fact, I didn't look what cognition we got. I've just got these three terminals with one. That's a bit pathetic. I have to make do. All got our pokey sticks, so should be okay. Did I shoot them again? What? Did he have three? Yeah, it's not going to be worth shooting him again. Get up and some melee combat from a little poke. But I'm actually going to use my cognition freedom here just to save up that one cognition on the actual. Until we build a little pile up. I'm going to try and go a little bit sparingly with it. Saber's energy are enhances, I think. There we go. A couple of pokes later and we've got... We've already got over half a bar. That's brilliant. Let's just poke him out the way. I'll just move him up here a little bit. He can be part of a welcoming party. Okay, let's get Otisius up here. Um, I think again I'm not going to try shooting this guy. I am going to use my extra cognition here just to push past him a bit. So I want to see if I can get a couple of troops up on this platform. Want to see if we can send at least two or three across here and see. It's like probably not going to get three. Okay, we can move again. Yeah, let's just move again. Make some space for someone else. Cool, we'll definitely send Monarius over. About. We've got a full cog gauge. Oh, let's see, what's that going to do? Six to eight. Yeah, brilliant. He's gone. We've got our Infestus. We do. Pushing right up there. Well, let's see. We've already got three flayed ones on that platform. We might have some more join them in a bit. So I think I might keep the rest of the guys over here. Two left. I thought he might only have one. Because he can just chill. Do I send this guy or not? Yeah, let's do it. And then there's three each side. Yeah, I think that's good. Uh, 
Uh, we can have a pop at one of these blade ones real quick. In fact, I want to pop this guy. No. I only just get those blade ones. Well, that's warmed a couple of them up. Oh, look at that. <laughs> They've all come to party. Bugger, if only had Minarius there, he could flame the lot of them. Okay, so let's get him and just plonk our battle servitor in there. There we go, why not? So him. So he can do. There we go. What do you got in Malika? Is that all he can do? He's just got. Oh, let's back off one. So he can't do melee. Target ranged attack turns into a circle attack. Oh god. That's gonna get all of our guys in quite a bad way. Okay, um I don't suppose we can land on the Okay, well, the servitors are pretty pants. Unless you're miles away. Alright, let's get our energy ears on this time. Yeah, I wonder if we can land with that guy. Oh, that's still going to get all our troops as well. Bum holes. If we had a castle instead, we'd be alright. Oh, there's only flayed ones, it's not like a proper pain to get rid of. Mission back. Go. Just gonna actually move them out the way a bit. Ortisius, what are you gonna do, buddy? Let's give him a little zap. See what we're working with. Energy armor, perfect. We've got a physical axle machine, so we're charged here, buddy. Yeah. So we've got a machine spirit charged axe. 8 to 10. Yep, let's hope. There we go, we did the 10. But let's not get rid of him yet. We might be able to poke some cognition out of him in a bit. And as we've got two terminals here and a glowy door in the middle, I'm pretty sure there's something going to come through there in a second. No, that was just it. Okay. A little bit of a cop out there, but there we go. Didn't even get a chance to blow any of those terminals up. One of the cohorts shows worrying signs of infection. The trooper's augmentations are distended and malfunctioning, accompanied by sweating, spasms, and low-level hallucinations. Ooh, someone's been on the mushrooms. Ex-hort, treat the trooper with prayer. Excise. Harvest the troopers' infected augmentations for study. A cross-species infection is too fascinating to ignore. Or assist. Treat the trooper with Medicaid tools and knowledge. Hmm. Definitely don't want to exercise them. That's a bit... Oh, look, he's, he's ill. Let's just rip him apart. 
Alright, let's try and help him. The cohort's Medicaid training flushes out the data reservoirs of the infected augmentations and administers stim packs. The time taken looks worth the effort as the trooper's condition is improved. Well, that's cool. Trooper's getting better. Initiative's gone up a bit. What the hell? So I'm actually thinking from here, it might be quicker just backtracking. Going up this way. Or that way. Rather than trying to go through all of this mess. All as good as backtracking doesn't cost us any awakening. So let's just count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they're both the same. The cohort must traverse a chamber waist deep in decaying biological gunk. It is on the most direct path ahead, and avoiding it would be prohibitively time consuming but the vicious goo is a threat to body and morale. Bake, try to create a solid crust on the gunk by searing it with flame. Bridge, construct a makeshift bridge from the debris in nearby chambers. Or Brave, wade through for discomfort is no hindrance to a scion of Mars. I don't think it's discomfort we're rowing around, it's bi decaying biological gunk, we could get infected or something. Um. I love the idea of doing a bridge, because we're sort of tech engineers, sort of, aren't we? Although, flame is always fun, and that'd be a lot quicker. But it could also put horrible, gunky fumes. Let's, let's go for bridge. But the process takes time. The cohort is able to construct a walkway sturdy enough to support their weight. They take encouragement from the fact that ingenuity overcame this obstacle. Lord Black in the sight of the Omnissiah. Oh, we can have gone up by three. Some Blackstone, but... Hmm. Optional encounters looking a little bit more tempting now, but it's miles away. This route. Who is going to have to suck up the Awakening level this time? Many female ports cover the outer shell of this Necron panel. Perhaps interfacing could improve the team's performance. So again... I know we've got the safe bet here, but I want to try and reveal one of the others. Not good. Cool. Nice well, easy to bring that one. This isn't too bad. We're still in two. Not too bad. <laughs> okay, scan or destroy. Push some of these guys up a bit. Have them loitering at the back there. Now, what have we got? We could get our battle servitor through this route. Just destroy us there as well. Could also get most of this route. There's a block in the way there. So we could get our servitor out here. We've got the cognition, so let's do it. I want to give this guy a proper, proper little run. Quite like to see if we can attack that, that little group there. Uh, not going to use any more cognition. Let's have a look what we've got. We've got a scan or destroy. Four scan or destroyers here, which is the objective. So we're going to have to split the crew up a bit. It looks like only this cognition terminal. I mean, there's one here, but it doesn't have any on it. So I don't know if, there's a, if any will come back. So yeah, we're definitely going to have to split our guys up a bit to go both ways. And obviously I've kind of blocked this route down the bottom here with my servitor like a bunker. I should have stepped them back a tile, I think. So everyone come to me. We can get Minarius up here, get his flame on them all. Yeah, look, I could put my destroy back at all and he's got ah, those guys still wouldn't be able to get out. Right, Leonardo's stuck at the moment. 
cool. Server to time. Put them here to make sure to leave a route out for the rest of my guys there. Whoa! That crazy vortex warpy thing. Did it actually do any damage though? I don't know. Jeremiah's just going to use the servitors a little bit of cover there. Fine. Right. Let's get here. Let's see what stats are on the destroyer. Ooh, physical armor, beautiful. Oh, I can't be far off his last legs now. Yes, has he got a truth buff thing? Yeah. Buff that server to before we forget. Cool, that's a good shot. We still got our arc rifle. As well. Oh, look, this has got a brilliant little arc thing on it. Just trying to see what I can get the most, get the most troops with. I think it's going to be this one here. Still in it, we're still in it. So we can get our other gun on the go now. Get some area of effect damage on these guys. Blade ones dropping like flies. I kinda knew they would, but still good to see. Oh, suspect activity. Try to just more flayed ones for the slaughter. Most of you come in as well on this next turn. We can get the big guy out. Lower mold kingdom come. Oh, there's a pop. 
pile of dead ones here. Let's start pushing up towards these scan terminals, eh? Same way, I think. We've got any stabby sticks or anything? No, we don't. Can we get eyes on that guy from here? We can. Oh, is that going to hurt our guy a little bit? One to two. That's alright, I can deal with that. So it's going to clear those two bodies and do a bit of damage on him, also, obviously. Really good. Did some damage and cleared two bodies. Let's get that on him as well. And we should have enough company here, yeah, we've got plenty of combination so we can just right up to him. Give him a little poke. Get a bit of cog back. And then slash him up. One HP left, bless him. Oh, suspect activity. It's gonna be but a morsel and a warrior. Okay. Um, yeah, he's not gonna get any opportunity attacks. Get the other one whilst we're there. Now we've only got one more terminal to scan, this one over here. And we'll also have to see if we can start blowing them up soon. You know, sustain the two if we can. Shot into him. Uh, should we get a cock point? No, I think we're okay at the moment. Attack 
<laughs> See, look, it's not going to make us kill all enemies again. That's really odd. That's twice in one team, but... Oh, well. The cohort comes across a chamber full of unopened sarcophagi. The Necrons inside are irredeemably malformed and clearly infected. The cohort is able to take sufficient samples of infectious material to satisfy even Scaviola's cravings. Oh, making Scaviola happy. Yeah, I'm a little gutted. I didn't get a chance to blow any of those terminals up. I didn't get to kill all those enemies. I didn't get to heal my guys up. Most unexpected, but for both those rooms, I had no kill all enemies or escape or anything after I got the terminals. Most unusual. Oh, hum. Still got victory, got some black stone. Don't really need to worry about awakening too much because I think we've got that handled. There we have it. Have we got any more deployments for this chap? He has given us another new one, so that's cool. So we are still getting the odd new mission come in. So hopefully we've got enough to last us until the Underhive Wars comes out. Uh, let us know what you think about that. Are any of you excited for that game? Are uh, any of you Warhammer fans or are you strategy fans in general? Let us know. Let's, let's get a bit of dialogue going on, guys. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed that. Leave us a like and subscribe if you did. Leave us some comments would be great. Stay tuned for the next one. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.